Just while we're waiting for the uh, the musk deer to come in, or the moose, or Dan to kind of close the gap a little bit, I should say to everybody in the video, welcome guys, welcome back to Call of the Wild. If you haven't already heard, there has been an announcement for a brand new map. And if I... Taco, is it called Yukon Valley, or is it just called Yukon? Yukon Valley. So they actually... Okay, so it is called the Yukon yes. Valley. In it's my opinion... the Yukon River. I'm super happy they added it. I am very, very happy. At first, when I first saw it, I was like... <sighs> It looks very, very similar to Leighton. And then the more they showed, like, the different parts of the terrain and certain angles of the map, it's definitely going to be a good addition for the game. Especially with my animal. I can't wait to see them. I got a short glimpse of them in the live stream, but I can't wait to play it. What were your thoughts, Taka, when you watched it? Because I know you were in there, too. Oh, yeah, I'm excited. Especially, it took a while for them to find a wolf, but yeah, it was, I'm excited for the wolf, too. They look cool. Uh, they're designed to hunt in packs. They're designed to hunt you in packs, apparently, too. So I, I really I like that idea. I didn't hear them say that. Is that true? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so they will actually move around it. See, the one thing I did want to try and... Sorry, Dan, did you take your shot? Yeah, I, I heard something. Yep. Uh, um, Taku, you do have uh, a move on, on my head your way. The okay. one thing that I wanted to ask them on the live stream but i was just too like concentrated on looking at the map and looking at the cool stuff around the map and stuff because I've, I've already got like different ideas of what we can do on it and stuff because it does look cool is there an alpha wolf um because i didn't see any definitive sort of evidence that there was i mean right. as far as i'm concerned because I'm, I, again i'm no expert on it and i don't know if you guys ha are because dan i know you have wolves in your country and taco i know you obviously know a lot about hunting and stuff but is there there's for the majority, especially in a wolf pack, there's always an alpha, isn't there? So, oh, yeah, yes, there's, there's one to lead it, and then they they swap around, like, because you know how they contest each other's position. Yeah, they challenge each but other, don't they? For the... one, there's one to lead the pack, because otherwise, well, it wouldn't really. Yeah, there'd be there'd be riots, yeah. wouldn't he, in the wolf world? Yeah. yeah. But there was, from what I could see, there was no definitive proof of there being an alpha. Like, I wonder if they're going to surprise us with that. Where it'll be a little bit bigger or maybe great. more aggressive or it'll have like a different call. The thing that's going back into my mind is, Tiger, you know how long I've been crying for something like this. And probably you, Dan, as well, because you hear it too. Oh, yeah. The yeah. Grey. The movie The Grey. In the movie, I know it's 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 so... It, th there's so much Hollywood involved in that and I know 90% of it isn't true and stuff. And in actual fact, I think the director of that movie's even said the, the wolves that they were modelled off were modelled off dire wolves. Ancient dire wolves that were still patrolling that part of the world. So... That gives you an idea of how far-fetched it is for that to happen, but in my opinion, if they did do that, like they gave the alpha a different call, so you could identify- Oh, what is that? I got a different fur type? You got a musk deer coming towards you, Taco. I can't identify the fur type. Yeah, it's running from left to right. I can't see it. I, I saw the marking, but it was on the other side of the trees. But yeah, the, the whole point in what I was saying was like, I would just love to, for there to be a clear indicator that there's an alpha because in classic taco, I know you've played a lot of that. Aren't they, don't they have like a distinction between the head sizes? Yeah, and classic, uh, cause it's skull, it's uh, trophy ratings based off a of skull size. So in order to establish that in classic, they actually gave them balloon heads and the bigger the, the head, you know, that bigger the trophy. See, even that's something so, though. Uh, they look kind of, uh, uh, they look, looked absurd be honest like the fox and then the, and the wolves <laughs> when you you came across a high level one because they had these giant heads. Heads. they look like bobbleheads <laughs> yeah um but it made sense with the concept and what they were working with and stuff like that so you know otherwise they'd have a, hundreds of head tiny heads you know yep. but in all actuality you know it's not that noticeable in real life um unless you like stare at them long enough and you know are really familiar with wolves um, but, uh, yeah, I, I, other than that, yeah, I mean, it would be sweet, I think, if they made, like, the high-level ones, the alpha, I think, or something, you know, along those lines. So, you what know, did they actually say about the, um, the pack stack? Because Yeah, go for it, dude, go for it, go for it, we'll just talk about the new map. What, what did they actually say about the, uh, the packs and stuff? Because I didn't pick up on that. Um, just that, uh, they oh, will shit. be hunting in packs that, that I heard, um, that they'll, they'll travel in packs. They're, designed, they're programmed to these uh, travel and uh, hunt in packs. Oh, dude, that's got me even more excited about it now. Because, like, yeah, yeah. The, I'm going to be absolutely honest. I didn't really care if there would have been a new map. Like, even if they didn't announce it. Because this map that we're playing on right now 
in my opinion, would be perfect for Wolves. And we've always said that. They didn't right. need to do that. But obviously, as a, as a business perspective, I can see why they've done it. But the one thing that I wanted to know is PAX Alpha and will they, I guess, have a bit of aggression towards the Hunters like the Lions do? You think twice about getting super close to the Lions because they will one-hit you, and, and rightly so, like they would in real life. You wouldn't get super close to a Lion. I hope it's the same for the Wolves because a Wolf Pack, like if you challenge a Wolf Pack of, let's say, 6, 7, 8, or to, up to 10, I, I'm imagining that would be super dangerous. So I hope it's a similar uh, maybe, thing. Maybe for you, um, but I don't know. Look at Dan. Yeah. Yep. Dan's an actual He's wild man. Yeah, 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 definitely. I mean, the wow. wolves will run. He, he'd walk up and the the alpha would just bow down. Say, <laughs> you got to make it Apex so big in front of them and they'll run away. <laughs> is that actually true? Is that how you... Yeah, that's it, true. Yep. Is it? That's you what you instructed, so don't mind. If a wolf comes, stand your ground, don't move, and just start, like, waving your arms about and make loud noises. Yeah, make yourself be big and bold. Can, yeah, and then it, it, it'll cower away. The second, if you even take a step back, it'll... Immediately designate you as its prey. Yeah, it sees you as weakness, doesn't you. it? Because you take yep. the first step back. I've, I've I've read about that before. Once people have kind of had their fill on the Yukon map, you feel like they're going to add it to Medved. Because I really hope they do. I would love to see wolves in this environment as well as that one. But I wouldn't be surprised if they add it at the same time. I think it all drops at once. Yeah, that would be very very cool. Very because cool. either way, uh, then people could still utilize or play the wolf. But then people are going to also want the map. Because the one thing you but, said to me, wasn't it? When Because as soon as we saw like the first opening five seconds, we you instantly messaged me and was like, Yukon, straight away. And I was like, how did you know that? You was like, because one, it's very identifiable. And then as soon as I saw the the like the opening shot of where they were looking around the map, it just reminded me of the uh, the show that I always talk about, Alaska, The Last Frontier. Yep. It's, it's so... like People don't actually realize... A lot of the time, it's not the animals that you need to worry about. It's the terrain and the landscape. Like, how quickly that landscape can change. If you ever watch that show, one day it'll be super hot, nice weather. The next day, massively bad snowstorms. So, it's a lot of the time, it's the terrain and the landscape. Pretty much like you and Taco. Which they're also supposed to be incorporating, or it looked like they did. It's just slow. So, once, like, if it's green ground and it starts to snow... The ground will slowly turn to white. I know. But uh, you know, we just had a brief snow to shower, but not enough to, uh, to 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 soak the ground yet. But yeah, when it was when he was talking about the actual landscape and when you're out hunting, yeah, if you're if you're walking along and it's like if it's green and it starts snowing like it is right now and it starts coming down harder, just progressively you'll see the ground start to turn to white. And then I'm assuming once it stops snowing, it'll just slowly turn back to green. If that is a thing that they have implemented in the game, it's a very, very, very nice touch. And, and I do yep. like that a lot. So we'll, yep. we'll have to see. There's, there's obviously, there's going to be a few kinks when it's first released. And they're just for everybody watching the video as well. We haven't had a release date yet. At this point, we know as much as you guys watching this video. We have not had a release date. And they were very, very specific on that in the stream too. They don't have a release date, but as soon as they can release something, they will do. That actually made me jump. Oh, is it a reindeer? Yeah. I shot it with Get him. Oh, no! Oh, my God. They're coming my way. <laughs> I couldn't move my character for a second. He was frozen in fear. <laughs> but the question is, Dan, what are you going to do when we dangle you out there in front of those wolves? Are you going to stay big and make loud noises, or are you going to run? Turn tail and run. Uh, I'm not afraid. <laughs> I will kill them all. Oh, really? I'm going to hold you to yes. that. Okay. Like I said, have you seen Dan? Just I'm going to use this footage right now, right? If we play Yukon, we get all of us in there, and wolves start coming at us, and they start making the noises, because you haven't heard them yet, have you, Dan? You haven't heard the noises. No. I, oof. I just jumped out of my skin. I'm, I'm talking about you freaking out. <laughs> Reindeer just came out of the left side. But the, the noises are super good. Like, really, really good. Like, straight out of a movie good. There was Caribou, which I'm also very happy that they've added, because that's another thing that you see on the, um... Like, the thing we watch a lot, Taco. Um, man, man vs. Wild. Uh, Man-eater? Not Man-eater. What am I talking about? Meat-eater. Meat-eater. There we go. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you see a lot of, um... Of Caribou on that, don't you? Oh, it's just there. Well, just to, uh... Oh, I don't really want to butt-shot it. Oh, I think we might have just had a crash. 
Which is exactly why it won't be coming out just yet. Yeah, it was like the the shot was too good. It was too good. So I, it like crashed. it was like you guys chat. Uh, so let's. Oh, that's some nice music. Look at these. There's, there's some beautiful antlers. So this is the plains bison. Um, as you can see, it's I think they're bigger than the European bison, aren't they? I mean, probably putting you on the spot here. <laughs> Sorry, baby. No, that's right. That's that's my understanding. Let me know. Oh, the horns just grew uh, and shrunk. Yeah. Grew and shrunk a little bit there. Um, but yeah, beautiful and uh, not to be messed with. Um, they're uh, another species that will uh, make quick, quick, uh, quick work of you. And th those plains bison are they the ones that you get on the the old school like western films and stuff? When you see yep. them, you know that yeah. that iconic yeah, actually one. Yeah, named after the Great Plains. Yeah, they, they migrate, you know, north to south every year. Huge migration, which you have yet to watch. Uh, Dances with Wolves. I don't so know why you you're on my back about that all the time, wolves, dude. I'll watch the gray. Got a moose. <laughs> I want it. I want it taken out, Dan. I, I don't think I can take it out with this slow caliber rifle. What you got? What you rocking? A moose. What have you got? What else have you got? I'm just shot in the back of its head. <laughs> he doesn't care, does he, Taco? Does not care. It's right. <laughs> going down. Just, I don't think I can take it out with this lower caliber. And then you just I'm hear just it. Brain it. Yep. yep. <laughs> what else? Uh, moose are going to be on that map as well. Um, the map developer Pepe he mentioned uh, that from what they, he understood that moose in Alaska are the biggest moose in the world. Yeah, I didn't know that either. I don't know if they're going to incorporate that uh, in in the game or if they're Ooh, just going to yeah. cut and paste uh, the the same moose. So like change the sizes and stuff. That would be sick to see. That like a different size on the Yukon map because then you would have a yep. draw to go to the like there's moose on plenty of the map we play but if there is a draw to the Yukon map with them being bigger or you get like taller variations of the moose and stuff that'd be sick yep that'd exactly. be cool I'm for the large as well yep if you put them next to each other just like well, then, different uh, variations. that's what they're struggling with is the antlers for the moose the true rack system for the moose just because they're so complex with the paddles versus antlers yeah, yep. And, and what else? What else is coming? Red Fox are coming to. Yeah, I wasn't too wasn't too hyped about that. I was like, yeah, it's one of those things that you could. And it was the what was the birds? There was a, a, a variation of a duck or a some, a some Harlequin, type. Harlequin duck. Was that what it was? Yeah, yeah. yeah, was yeah. Like... They're, they're, they're kind of goofy looking, and they don't quack. They they peep. They, they don't quack. <laughs> I know a lot of people like the uh, the birds, the geese, and and so on in the game. I thought I would, but to me, there's just there's not there's not a cool feeling about just smacking a duck, especially when you can smack them on the water as well. Right. So, uh, turkeys are another story because they'd be running around all over the place. Um, That's one thing the community them. right now are going crazy for. Like whenever I see the expansive world streams or you know if Fisk streams Call of the Wild and stuff, there's a lot of people always asking. I even get it in my comment section. What do you think of turkeys? What do you think of turkeys yeah. being added to the game? Would you like them added to the game? Personally, like, we had that discussion not long ago. It would be cool, but I didn't actually realize just how many people want them in the game. Because in real life, uh, turkeys are hard to hunt. And in, in classic, they're hard to hunt, too. They're hard to bring in. They have super great eyesight. They have, they have good hearing. And they're fast, right? So And they're super alert. So they're, they're, <laughs> they're a challenge. <laughs> That's what made me laugh last time you said it. They're fast. That blows my mind. Dan, did you know yeah, that? Yeah. That turkeys were fast. <laughs> you don't let you do like massive like um I don't know what you'd call it, like sometimes I know there's a state in the US where they like run around like a people's properties. Like a Yeah, even here. I, I look out my window in the morning and I'll see them in my yard. And, oh. uh, Gobblers? Yeah. Yep. And if I'll I'll turn around, grab my camera to take a picture, and uh, they'll spot me through the window and phew, gone. <laughs> so that's well, he yeah, says that in Jurassic like, Park, I think. I think it says something along the lines of when he's talking about the raptor, he says picture an eight-foot turkey or something along those lines, which obviously points to the fact that, yeah, turkeys are fast, because why would you otherwise make a correlation between yeah. that and a raptor? Look at that one. Look at that nice face on him. Just waiting for... Waiting for lunch. Yeah. Waiting for a human. So the grizzly bear, ladies and gentlemen. Um, what, a, what a cute Look little teddy bear. Yeah, but those like paws. I know, man. Look how huge they actually. Yeah, look how big those are. That is awesome. I love that model. 
That'll look uh, pretty impressive in the trophy oh, box. Oh yeah, I, I was just gonna say that. Yeah, very nice. So, um, what can we tell you about these? So these have got a uh, even a new system, don't they? Uh, over the line, so they've got a confrontation mode. So they hunt in packs, uh, and they'll also hunt the player in packs. I do understand. Yeah. Um, and, and they so, move on the line. Uh, yeah. And they've got they've got proper pack behaviour yeah. uh, as the uh, way to talk about it. This one, nice uh, sort of ready coloured one. Look at these, beautiful. So yeah, very nice. And uh, I'm uh, going to be looking forward to uh, the many many stories and tales I see out there about these wolf. That's for sure. So what were the actual animals? So we have the wolf. Which I can't wait to see. The Grizzlies, which again I can't wait to see. Caribou, another one. I'm happy they've added. Um, the Moose, Red Fox, and the Duck. Was that all of them? Yep. Okay, and so the that's bison. the reserve cover. Oh, the, bi the uh, Plains Bison, yep. Alright, so there is a nice variety then on the, uh, yep, on the new map. Seven animals. Yep, I'll take it. A buddy of mine, he does. Um, uh, he's, he's a. Like, it's weird to say he's a professional farmer farm fixer i guess yeah uh so uh like, like large farms like large production farms will contact him and he flies out to all over the world and uh helps uh streamline their their system and their, the way they run things and uh he's done quite a few different farms in russia and uh so in one of those problems uh, in on those farms are wolves you know attacking uh the herds of right you know, you know animals to have so He's joined them on wolf hunts, and I've gotten pictures from him of uh, some of the, these wolves that he's taken down. Huge, you know, it holding up, mm -hmm. yep. standing up side by side, and they're as tall as him. And he's like, six foot four, I think, or something like that. So like, they're huge, you know. They're no joke, toe to toe. They're absolutely no joke, wolves. That, that's why I love them so much because they they have so much personality behind them. Like if you can, it's, it's, it's going to be so hard for me to do this, but there is a there's a comparison you can make between wolf and something similar to a wolf in terms of personality traits a wolf is so different to any other animal not just because it's intelligence but because of the way it is in a pack the way its social uh, skills are as an animal the way it, it you know its eating order is as an animal like if you think of a let me just use an, a pride of lions as an example i was watching something where it basically broke down the structure of a wolf and they were talking about how a pride of lions say the lionesses would take something down there is a there is a social structure to which order they will eat in but for the most part they're just going to try and gorge themselves as quickly as possible because you know they don't know how long it is until their next meal is going to be or, and so on whereas a wolf will legitimately have a social order for the order of um whoever eats and they, they were talking about like and, and you'd be very surprised as well it's not always the alpha that eats first because a lot of the times the alpha isn't there to eat the kill first it's directing the traffic, so to speak. It's They're so incredible. They're so, so cool animals. And, like, if, if anybody needs an example of how badass a wolf is, if you just Google or search a video on YouTube for a pack of wolves taking down a herd, I think it's called the Great Caribou Herd, which goes through the Yukon, you guys have a look at almost like how military strategic those wolves are. And they're so far apart. They're contacting each other with, like, um, I'm going to get this word wrong, but no like wolf noises, where it be like howls or squeaks or yelps and stuff. They know how to respond to that. They're, it's so fascinating. I love them. I've got a picture in my, my house of this really cool design of a wolf, and it's just, it's by far my favorite animal. It's so cool. I mean, obviously, aside from the dogs that I like, like the, the, the German. Well, that's a big reason why I like the German Shepherd, too. I love the German Shepherd dog. Me and Dan were talking about animals not too long ago, right? Like, what animals are native to where Dan lives and so on and like what... Because in, in contrast to places around the world, where I live, there's nothing. I mean, someone's probably going to say, yeah, but we get this certain type of snake that's nowhere else. It's crap. UK is crap for animals unless you go to a zoo. Whereas Denmark has something, or I guess most parts of Scandinavia have this animal. Have you ever heard of it, Taco? It's called a narwhal or a narwhal. Have you heard of it? Yes. Yes. Narwhal. How weird is that thing? right <laughs> it looks like it genuinely looks like a hybrid of a dolphin and a swordfish or something like that and a unicorn yeah and a yep. <laughs> unicorn as well yeah <laughs> so weird looking but they're so cute there's something about them if you've got a side shot on it actually you've got the mosin haven't you 
I got a drill uh, shotgun with me too. Oh, you do? Drill I slap it with the drilling then. From here? Yeah. You have the rifle, right? Hold down R and it switches yep. to the rifle round. Ooh, that was a nice sound. Yeah, it was. Did you see how it, it lit the uh, the area up as well? Yeah. It's cool to see that. The flash. Yeah, I like that. Introducing uh, the Z300, the Canning 300. I'll go into the uh, the screen here for it. So there it is. And you can see it down the down the bottom of the uh, of the chat. The 300 Canning Magnum. Um, and it comes with two different ammo types. It's got the polymer and the soft point. Um, I've put the Argus scope on it. Um, just you know, because why, why not? not? Yeah. yeah, and this is the uh, this is this is the showstopper in my opinion. It's a pretty awesome weapon, yeah. and this comes with the with the uh, the uh, Yukon uh, DLC. So, uh, but you still need to get the weapon score. Exactly, too, exactly. So, Sorry, so yeah. it's not gonna. It's not a. Freebie. It's not a given. No, 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 no. Um, yeah, if, um, I can't. I can't watch and talk at the... You can't? <laughs> I can't watch and talk at the same time. I was going to say something. Make something with a little bit more, like the 338 uh, bigger brother, pretty much, that isn't uh, necessarily, like, a killer of the 338. See, and that's where I was a little disappointed when it came with the weapon. I mean, I wasn't expecting weapons, so yeah, throw a weapon in there, I'm happy. But if they're going to throw weapons in, I, I want muzzle loaders or something, you know, something unique to the game. Oh, the old school stuff? Right now. Yeah. Yeah, that would be cool. You know, and then like in uh, Classic, when you fire a muzzle loader, it puts a huge puff of smoke in front uh, outside the muzzle, right? So it's a lot of fun to fire. That would be actually uh, a very cool weapon to have in this game. Like old yep. school style uh, hunting and stuff. I like that. Look at you go, Dan. Yeah. Taking moose down like it's nothing. Talk to us. Give us the stats. Uh, trophy rating 113. Uh, it didn't get any quick kill bonus, but integrity and consecutive 100%. And the score roll is 564. And I basically the bullet flew through everything. Okay, so you basically. you annihilated it. Actually, this is the one I shot earlier. Oh, he's come back in. Yeah. So this is the one you lost, and it's come back in. Yeah, that's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> this follow it was tracking us. Oh. There it was again. The uh, wolf sound. Yeah, I just got it too. I just got it too. That's awesome. That seems like it's happening a lot more often than than, than it has before. Again? Because I would have absolutely picked up on that. Oh. Something there. Musk deer? I'm going to smack it. Tango down. Oh, wait, I didn't do it properly. Hold on. Tango down. I'm going to go for a Mosin shot in the rain there. A bit low. 75 to 100. All right, you know what? You know what? Seems like you don't want to go down. Headshot. Did you pop it? I, I absolutely hate doing those headshots like that, but... <laughs> if the game allows it, you're gonna do it, aren't you? I mean, they. I, I would love for them to make it so the trophy there is no trophy rating on any headshot because pretty much everything uh, relies on head. trophy rating. Yep. Yeah, because antlers are you know you hit it in the head, you're gonna destroy it. Yep. Uh, skull size, you're definitely gonna destroy the trophy. So I, I think headshot should get the quick kill, but should annihilate trophy rating. I'm seeing blood right here. Yeah, but you're not seeing the reindeer? No. Nope. Well, neither. That's unfortunate. It was a non-vital hit. It's... No, he's saying it's a vital. You can see it there from the spread. But the reindeer is right next to it here for me. It's, it's like right there. So how many were in that, that herd? Roughly three, I think it was. One's there, that's two, and then there's one more behind that one. Okay, what we got? We got males, females, what we're we talking? I think there was one male in between them. Oh, something's coming in. Time when you're taking the shot. I have no eyes. Close, but no eyes. Oh, here it comes. Tell me it. when. Tell me when. Three, two, one. Tango down. Okay, I hit that level four. 
Come on, big guy, go down. Gonna shoot one. Yeah, go for it, go for it, dude, go for it. What rifle was that, then? Is that the Mosin? Yeah. Okay, so it, it does have that. It, it has the, um... The... <laughs> <laughs> just fucking, just fucking I know, he's just lighting them up. <laughs> it has that weird noise effect the closer you get with the Mosin. I thought it did. Alright guys, so I think we're going to end things here. Now if you weren't already excited about a brand new map dropping, then hopefully you are now from what you've seen in the video. There's a lot of new stuff coming, and not to mention grizzly bears and of course wolves. I can't wait to see how they are in the game. I'm just hoping that everything works well, especially with that new mechanic where they tend to like hunt the players down as like a pack. I can't wait to see that. And I really want my first impressions to be a good one with the wolves. But with that being said, as of right now, there is no release date. So hopefully any issues that they do have in the game will be ironed out before release. I've got to be honest though, guys, I've not been this excited for a map since savannah i've got to be honest in saying that i really can't wait to play this i want to see the grizzlies the wolves and everything else in between as well i'm going to explore all parts of this map and i can't wait to do it but let me know what you guys think in the comments below for now though guys we are going to end so thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your support and we'll see you all in the next one